Hello everyone, today I'm here to do a review on Fendi Beauty. I went and got two of their products. I got the medium contour sticks and I got my foundation shade in 220. So we're going to see how these work out for me today. I have been watching a couple of reviews and everyone seems to be liking it. Of course it is a little bit of a runny consistency but and this does look a little bit light for me. Let's see if I got a good color match. It's actually not as bad. I have a little bit of a sunburn today because I went to the state fair yesterday, which was fun. But of course, it gave me a little bit of extra redness to my face, which I usually do not have. And since it is runny, gotta get it on your face pretty quickly. Ooh, my chest is red. So, that was two pumps, and I've got pretty much half my face. So, let's do two more pumps, and I'm going to do those on my little Good Techniques sponge from Walmart. Anyways, we went to the Fifth State Fair. We did not do any rides because we are doing rides in two weeks or three weeks in Disneyland so decided we're just doing food and animals at the state fair which turned out to be pretty nice okay all it is a base now like I said I think it's a little too light only because we did get a sunburn yesterday, so what we're going to do for that sunburn is we're going to add one more little squirt. I'm kind of dab out my top of my chest to just make it a little bit less red, so that's just a little bit better. not put a primer on. I wanted to see how it weared or was placed on my skin and how it looked without a primer. I did not grab her primer. Uh, I spent $105 and that was for my collection of three sticks and my one bottle. Sorry if I keep looking up there's a mirror ahead of me and I keep seeing the different looks. Okay so here's the three Sticks. I love them that they're magnetized. I'm gonna take them to Disneyland, give them a nice wear. We are going to do the conceal color, which I got bamboo. And we're gonna do that a little under my eyes. to wear this on a regular day and not be testing the product I would definitely conceal my baggy eyes first with a color corrector and probably only use this one for highlighting my areas on my face and use my regular concealer which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills to conceal the other areas because um, I've got quite dark, um, quite dark eye bags. So they're hereditary, nothing to do about them. Get filler, don't want to. 
So, we have the bags. And that's okay. I'm just blending this out with a concealer brush. It is quite hard to blend out with that concealer brush. And the techniques seems to be blending it out a little bit easier. Whoa. Okay. Okay, let's contour and see how this contour looks. I had gotten the shade light and I had gone in there and color matched at Sephora and the Sephora person that was helping me color match said that, uh, well, sent me home with a light and I got home and tried it on my skin and it was way too light for me. It was way too cool. It looked almost ashy on my complexion. Um, so I'm really hoping that this this color, which is the medium, and roll it up. That is how much you get. I think that is pretty gracious. Um, compared, uh, you know, it is a thick stick. And the weight on it is 7.10 grams. That's a pretty that's a pretty good amount, I believe. I believe if you're not covering your whole face with this, it's gonna last you quite a long while. So let me see. Oh yeah, this is this is way better on me. Way better. The other one was way too light. For my skin my skin complexion. I'm sure it will be very nice on some very, very um, pale um, people. I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that it'll be a beautiful color on those people. It was just not my color. It was very ashy on my skin tone. <coughs> Excuse me. I did not get any brushes because I have some of my own brushes that I think will be okay for now. I have a huge new set of brushes coming from um, coming from Morphe this week, so I'm super excited about those, and we're gonna see if those um, improve my makeup game because my makeup game is only I've only been doing makeup since January of this year, January 2017. Um. I stay at home most of the time, and I'm an at-home mom, and I am also disabled, so it's easier for me to stay home, put on beautiful makeup for myself, stay home, and just look pretty staying at home. So what I have decided to do is maybe make some videos of my makeup me sitting at home doing my makeup since nobody else really sees it while I go out. Blend, blend, blend. I decided maybe if I did a couple of videos I could put them online and at least maybe somebody better see them. Feel like somebody see my makeup during the day even though I didn't go out. So that's why I decided to do some videos and I'm sure I will get better doing videos doing videos it's my very first one okay so first impression of that contour stick compared to the um i think the other one was amber in the light that's beautiful that's beautiful that gave me cheekbones that i don't have and a jawline that I don't have so oh yeah that looks way prettier on my skin okay the highlight that comes in the medium kit is called trippin which is a perfect perfect for me because I be tripping sometimes that's how much you get it's a beautiful color kind of a peachy color but when I swatched it in the stores, it didn't come off super peachy. It was just a beautiful, light, peachy 
um, color. So I'm going to do it right here between these two. Oh yeah, see it has a little bit more color than it did in, than I thought it did. But tap it in. That's what it says to do. That's pretty. Okay, so we're going to do the same type of thing on this side. A little white, and then we start tapping it. Sorry. There we go. Tap, tap, tap. Pretty. That's. I did not do a nose contour. Let me do my nose contour. See how I like it with this. I'm sure, it looked big, big, beautiful because that other color was not my color. It was a pretty color. It was just way too cool for me, and I am way too. Oops, that's a little dark. A little far down. Oh well. I'm sure we'll blend it out. I am not that cool toned, so I've got to stay away from the super cool toned, super cool toned um, contour colors. Just can't do them. Okay, so I'm going to put this on my finger and apply it to my nose. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I should have applied it with my finger to my cheekbones. Oh. Okay, now this color is also um, good for an olive color on your eyes. If you're not going to do too much, which I'm not. And just a pretty little glimmer. I'm gonna sorry I'm gonna lips. So it's a little neutral for my lips. So I'm gonna grab one of my colors right here. And let's see what we're looking for. My glossy from Tarte in the color, I don't know how to say this, O-B-V-I. Someone school me because I don't know what that says. There we go. I think they are beautiful. I think they're wonderful that they stick together because I'm going to take them to Disney and I know that they're going to stay together. Um, I like this. It's a medium coverage. Looks really pretty on my skin. Um, still pretty natural. I think that the under eye was a little bit too light for me on, um, on my under eye at this moment, especially with my tan at the moment. Um, but I will use it to highlight different, I'm sorry, I have a hair in my mouth, there we go. I will use it to highlight different colors and I will use it um, for the high points of my face. I just won't use it under my eyes again because I need something that's a little bit heavier. Uh, overall, Rihanna, we kicked ass. 40 shades, amazing. Highlighters, amazing. I would have bought more. I love everything. I will be buying more of these matchsticks. These are awesome. That chili mango is beautiful. Um, can't wait to see what you come out with for eyes. Love ya. Bye.